Social Security Administration. Officer David Walker, how may I help you? Hello, I got a message that says I have to stop what I'm doing and call here. Zero. Can you help me? You've reached the Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Hello, I got a message that said I have to stop what I'm doing and call here. Can you help me? Okay, sir. Could you tell me a more a bit? Like, what was the voice call all about? I got a message on my cassette answering machine that said I have to stop what I'm doing and call here, and I face legal action. Okay, sir. So just let me allow me a minute to look into this for you. Okay. May I know what's your first name? My first name is spelled R as in Romeo. O as in Oscar, B as in Bravo, E as in Echo, R as in Romeo, T as in Tango. Okay. And so what's your last four digits of the socials? One, nine, two, two. Okay. And so your date of birth and its zip code? I was born December 19th, year of our Lord, 1932. I was born one month after Franklin Roosevelt was elected president and during the height of the Great Depression. My zip code is 06516. Okay. And so could you just verify your first and last name once again? My first name is spelled R as in Romeo, O as in Oscar, B as in Bravo, E as in Echo, R as in Romeo, T as in Tango. My last name is spelled G as in Golf, R as in Romeo, I as in India, N as in November, N as in November, E as in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima. Okay. Just allow me for a minute to pull up a case file. Okay. Thank you for your patience, sir. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Could you tell me, so where do you reside? I live at 1187 Campbell Avenue. So C is in Charlie, A is in Alpha, M is in Mike, P is in Papa, B is in Bravo, E is in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima, Space Avenue, A is in Alpha, V is in Victor. U is in uniform, and is in November. U is in uniform. Okay, so listen. Yes. So, oh, yeah. I would just like, I would like to know, sir. The address mentioned over here does not match with the address you're giving me. I live at senior housing at the John Preet Apartments. So the address I can see is one one three Dawson Avenue, West Heaven. I, I used to live there and then I retarded in 1999 and I moved to the John Preet Apartments Senior Housing. Okay, sir. So do you have a car, sir? Yes. Okay. And so what about the driving license? Do you still drive, sir? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. The reason I'm asking you this is because we found an abandoned car that was linked with the socials. And your socials have been found suspicious under fraudulent activities, sir. Oh, no! So, I don't know anything about that. So your voice is too low, sir. 
I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? So we found an abandoned car that was a Toyota Corolla with some blood traces and drug residues in it. So have you rented a Toyota Corolla? No, I hate all foreign cars. I think everybody who buys a foreign car should be stripped of their U.S. citizenship and deported. Okay, so the reason I'm telling you this is because so we found blood traces in it and some drug residues, sir. I... So are you aware, sir, about anyone using your socials or did you get a call from your local police station? No, I was out all morning. I went to the church basement to play bingo and then I went to the park bench to feed the birds and then I had breakfast at my favorite restaurant, the Bridgeport Flyer and I didn't know anything about this until I checked my cassette answering machine. Okay, so, so I would just request you get a pen and paper handy so I could provide you my information and help you with the case ID number as well. Okay, I, but it's all upstairs. I'll go get the pen and paper. Yes, sir. Sure. Just let me know once you're ready, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Bleh, bleh. Excuse me, I haven't been the same since I got coronavirus. Just another set of stairs. Let me dig in the drawer. Okay, I have a pen and paper. Okay, I have my pen and paper. So I have my pen and paper, uh-huh. You've reached the Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Hello! I got a message that said I have to stop what I'm doing and call here. Can you help me? Yes, so why did you disconnect this line? I did not disconnect. You suddenly disappeared. No, sir. It got disconnected from your end, sir. No, it wasn't but not me. Too early. Okay, so you're back to me on this line. That's right. Please note down my first and last name. Okay, uh-huh. My name is James Cooper. Uh-huh. So do you want me to spell it out, sir? Uh, how do you spell Cooper? C-O-O-P-E-R Okay, uh-huh. And so my batch number is 1500 So 15775 So 1500775 Yes, sir, that's right. Okay. And the case ID number is DC4010. Kiss ID? Do you mean someone's going to kiss me? No, sir. The case ID, sir. Your oh. case ID. The oh, case that is imposed case. over you, sir. Oh, case. So, D as in Delta, C as in Charlie, 4010. Yes, sir. Okay, uh-huh. So, sir, in order to help you with this case file, sir, I need some of your details. I need to know your real assets and all your fake assets, sir. As of now, we see that we have 12 bank accounts using your socials and your name on it, sir. So, can you tell me how many bank accounts do you have, sir? I only have one checking account and one savings account. 
Okay, so which bank do you have a checking account with? With Milford Bank. Okay, and so what about the savings account? Is it with the same bank? It's with the same bank, uh huh. So it's Milford Bank, it's spelled M as in Mike, I as in India, L as in Lima, F as in Foxtrot, O as in Oscar, R as in Romeo, D as, D as in Delta, and Space, and B. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, I've got your bank. Is it Milford Bank, sir? That's right. Okay, sir. And, so do you have a debit card as well from the same bank, sir? That's right, uh-huh. So you don't have a credit card, is that right? No, I once had a credit card 20 years ago, and then I got scammed by a scammer in Pakistan, and I learned my lesson, and I got rid of the credit card, and I've never had a credit card since then and i have never been scammed again okay sir so the reason i'm asking you is sir you should never share your personal information to anyone like you should never share your card number or the last three digits behind it okay okay so could you tell me approximate balance that you have in your bank account sir well, the lady printed out something at the bank the other day. It's in this drawer. Okay, it says in my savings account, I have 73,784 dollars and 17 cents. And in my savings account, I have 4,700 Thirty-six dollars and ten cents. Okay, sir. And what about your debit card, sir? In, Is it linked to the savings account? It's linked to the checking account, and in the checking account, okay, I have four thousand seven hundred thirty-six dollars and ten cents. Okay, sir. So the reason we are going to help you safeguard this money, sir, the reason we are telling you this is because we are going to seize and freeze all your bank accounts, sir, for a temporary period. And then once we find out the real fraud, sir, we are going to release your real assets and we are going to, going to seize all these fake assets that are linked with your socials. And we are going to also help you with a new social security number. Okay, uh-huh. Sounds good to you, sir. Could you repeat the Could you question? Tell me how much liquid... Yes, sir. I'm just trying to tell you that is we're going to freeze all these bank accounts sir, that are linked with your socials. So that's the reason we're telling you is you cannot keep more than $100 with you in cash. So could you tell me how much liquid cash do you have with you? I have about $300 in my wallet. Okay, sir. So you cannot keep more than $100. Okay. Okay. I'll just place this case on hold for a half an hour, sir. So you got to safeguard your money. Could you tell me, sir, do you have any type of disability? No. Okay. The reason we're asking you this is, sir, because we are from the Social Security and you get benefits from us as well. That's right, I get my social security check, uh-huh. Could you tell me, sir, what amount do you get, sir? I get $2,400 a month. Okay, sir, that's right. So could you help me with your mobile number? It's 203296 three six two three so it's two zero three two nine six three six two three is that right that's right 
So one last question. We just need to find out where do you stay, and we just need to know: is it your real property, sir? Is it your real property? Do you own it, sir? No, I rent at senior housing. Okay. And so, where is this located, sir? It's at one one eight seven Campbell Avenue. So C is in Charlie. A is an Alpha, M is in Mike. Yes, sir. That's fine, sir. Campbell Avenue. That's right. Okay, so it's one one eight seven Campbell Avenue, and it's a senior housing. That's right. That's right. And sir, your last four digits of a social, sir. It's one nine two two. Okay, so. So you know, so I've already explained you your case file, sir, that you have been a crime suspect of identity theft, sir. So in order to clear all these cases and order to clear all these allegations that are imposed over you, you need I need to forward this call to my head officer, that's the Drug Enforcement Administration officer. He will help you safeguard all your hard-earned money, and. So you can then get a new social security number after the day, okay? Okay. So I'll get this call connected. Just hold on for a minute, sir. Okay. Thank you for your patience, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll just get this call connected to my senior officer. Please hold the line for a minute, sir. Okay. Yeah, hello. Hello. Go fuck yourself, you motherfucker! Why are you calling my it's, office? It's against the you rules. Son of a bitch. It's against the rules of social security to swear at a client. Fuck you and your rules. I want to. I want to speak to your supervisor.